Welcome back to H20, special relativity. In this section, we want to further investigate the energy momentum four vector, which we introduced in the previous sections. But here we focus on the zeroest component, the first component of this vector, where we uh, find mass ma for particle a times the proper velocity zeroest component is equal to ma times c times one over one minus u a square over c square, which is the energy of this particle a over c. Or in other words, the energy is equal to the mass times c square over one square root of one minus u a square c square. So let's discuss or look at, let's have a look at this um, a little bit more. The first question we can ask, how does this now look like for particles which travel with a reasonably low velocity? So u a much smaller than c. So we can Taylor expand this um, following this equation here, which we discussed earlier. Um, and we find that the energy is equal to ma c square. That's the first term, which we call rest mass. So energy given by just the rest mass by the mass of the particle times c square, plus one half ma c square times u a square over c square. The c squares cancel, and we find what we know as the kinetic energy one half mv square, or in this case, one half ma ua square. That looks very familiar. So the energy of a particle is given by its rest mass plus its kinetic energy. All right, um, you know, investigating this four vector then, we can ask, you know, what, how does the invariant interval look like? How does this property, which is invariant and the Lorentz transformation look like? Yeah, we multiply the vector with itself. Here we find minus e square over c square plus the three momentum squared is equal to minus m0 c square. Or in other ways, we find this energy momentum, energy mass relation, energy momentum mass relation, where the energy is given by the momentum square times c square plus the rest mass square times c to the fourth power. Okay, again, we can unroll this now and ask, you know, how does this look for a particle at rest? Again, we find the energy is equal to mc square. No surprise, that's how we started the definitions of, of this. In general, we can find that the energy is equal to a relativistic mass times c square, which is equal to the rest mass times gamma times c square, and that's equal to the rest mass times c square plus k, the kinetic energy square. All right, so this definition, I can tell you that this confused me as a student quite a bit. This understanding that the mass becomes heavier for a particle is really one I didn't quite like. I just like to think about the fact that the kinetic energy, um, yeah, the relativistic component to the kinetic energy, which is owned by the particle, in addition to the rest mass of this particle times the square. Um, also interesting to note is that for particles at rest, uh, particles which are massless, like a photon, the energy is equal to the momentum times C. So if you want to know what the, what the energy is of a photon, you all, you know, you need to know what the momentum is of the photon multiplied by C. 